The genetic resources of the fish that we try to catch, the fish that we farm, determine how fast those fish grow, how well they reproduce, and how well they can respond to changing climates and changing environments. So the genetic resources are really the foundations of the food factories of the world. The, the most important achievement of the Commission was to broaden its mandate beyond plant genetic resources to decide to look at all genetic resources for food and agriculture. And that was quite a bold decision because it's a very ambitious way to go. And we're still a long way from uh, bringing the coverage of fish genetic resources up to uh, the same level as plants and, and livestock. But uh, a good start is being made and the world has to eat very diverse diets and fish are a big part of that and so for me the fact that the Commission has broadened its mandate in this way is, is its most important achievement. I really think the Commission has a, a huge role to play in uh, making sure that the decisions that are made about the world's genetic resources for food and agriculture are sensible and correct and that they apply to all the sectors and not just to one. Well, in the same vein, it would, it would mean that every sector would go its own way and uh, the decisions would be sector specific and in a way kind of uh, selfish. The problem is that sectors tend to fight their own corners and think that they are the, uh, the only things that are of any importance. But in fact, uh, as we know, agriculture, forestry, fisheries, aquaculture and uh, other sources of uh, food and livelihood occupy the same ecosystems. So we need to have uh, a commission like this where we are all sharing the same resources to uh, work together and to make sure that, uh, that things are done uh, most efficiently and effectively. I think the Commission's priorities in the future should, should be to continue to, to raise the profile of genetic resources um, in policy making and uh, in, in public awareness so that the genetic level becomes uh, more widely recognized as, as the basis for the food we eat and for the livelihoods that are associated with, with food production. There is uh, there's a need for the Commission's work to be more widely recognized and I think it's the Commission that needs to work at that. I do think that this ambitious a program of including all genetic resources for food and agriculture is going to need a lot of investment. So I hope that more and more donors come on board to uh, provide that investment and that uh, over the next uh, 10 or 20 years we can uh, see a much more complete picture emerging of how to uh, conserve and use sustainably the whole of the world's genetic resources for food and agriculture but it's going to take a lot more money and uh, a lot more effort. I'm sure it will happen. Those of us who, uh, who have spent most of our lives working away on fisheries research or aquaculture research are, um, are in little corners, but when we come to get an opportunity to work with the Commission, we get to see the whole uh, the whole gamut of, uh, of genetic resources, conservation and use across the world. So for me it's meant uh, the opportunity to work with some very talented people.